Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 35 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. So today we're going to look at something called Shape Hint and to use Shape Hint what you have to do is you just gotta add in a keyframe uh, and make a uh, and make a shape, uh, a shape tween uh, animation effect just like that uh, as we did in the previous lesson. So what we got to do is uh, we got to change the shape just like this. So let me just uh, change it too much this time. Just like this, let me rotate it all around and then change the sides, a side angle just like this. A side angle just like this. Change the uh, squeeze in a bit. Drag it out a bit just like this. All right. Now I'm going to do a uh, create shape tween just like this. And you can see that it the animation did not rotate. And because uh, what it does is that the shape tween actually happens in between the closest, key, uh, closest pinpoints and not... Uh, uh, how we rotate it. So what we got to do is we got to provide shape hint so that it rotates in the particular angle. So now in order to insert my shape hint, what, I'm, what I got to do is I got to go to modify just like this and then I got to go to shape and then I uh, use shape hint. So the shortcut key for it is control shift plus, plus H. So I'm going to add in a shape hint. So this is my first shape hint just like this. So the uh, shortcut key is control shift hen H. So this is my B shape. I'm going to put that in this corner and control shift and hitch just like that. Put that in this corner and put this in this corner just like this. So what I got to do is over here, you can see that I got my shape in just like that. So instead of, uh, so you, you can memorize that A, B, C, uh, D is located right over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my A, my D right over here and A right over here, and B right over here, and C right over here, just like this. So now what happens is you can see that A, C, B, and D are there. So let me just drag this down. So this is my A, all right? So I, I, I want my A to be over here. So I want it to rotate just like this. And now you can see that the animation changes. So A is over here. So I'm going to drag my B right there. I'm going, going to drag my B right here. All right, so you can see that the rotation animation actually occurs now. So over here is C. So on top of uh, A is C. All right, so let's drag this over here and over here just like this. And you can see that now I got a rotation animation. So what happens is that my A uh, pinpoint, which is here, by using C pin, it actually rotates on this side. And B is uh, B is actually located on, on that side. So I got to correct this. All right. So if I do this, you can see that B is located right here. So what it does is uh, it provides hint with the shapes that are actually on the pinpoint. So you can see that this is how the animation actually rotates. And now what happens is that I got the precise animation that I wanted inside of Adobe Edge Animate, uh, Adobe Animate, just like this. So this is how you use shape hints inside of Adobe Animate. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.